Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The booby is a fun-to-fish topwater pattern capable of catching a wide variety of warm water game fish. Begin by getting one of the long shank hooks firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Then load a bobbin with the spool of unithread, here black. Get the thread started on the hook shank leaving a little bit of space behind the eye and take wraps rearward for about a quarter of an inch before snipping off the excess tag. Continue taking touching thread wraps down the hook shank until your tying thread hangs halfway between the hook point and the barb. Pick up one of the purple marabou feathers and pinch a large group of fibers on one side of the stem, then pull the stem part of the feather free. This should keep the marabou fibers roughly aligned. Wetting the clump will make tying much easier. Measure to form a tail a little longer than a full hook in length and transfer that measurement rearward to the location of your tying thread. Take touching wraps forward to anchor the marabou to the top of the hook shank. Once it's well secured, you can snip the excess butt ends off close. Then take thread wraps to cover up the ends. Leave your thread at about the two-thirds point of the hook shank. Snip three to four strands of pearl crystal flash free from the hank, then locate the midpoint of the strands. Place the midpoint on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread and take a few wraps rearward to secure it. Pull the forward pointing portion of the flash back along the far side of the hook and position the rearward pointing portion down the near side of the hook. Taking thread wraps rearward should bind the flash down on either side of the marabou tail. When you're done, position your tying thread back to the two thirds point on the hook shank. Corral the strands of crystal flash and snip them off so they're just slightly longer than the marabou tail. Pick up one of the black marabou feathers and once again get hold of a bunch of fibers on one side of the stem and strip them free. Here too, wetting the fibers will make tying much easier. Lay the clump on top of the hook shank so its tips are in line with the purple tips and start taking thread wraps to bind it down. You can then lift the butt ends up and snip them off close. Continue taking wraps with your tying thread rearward, binding the marabou to the top of the shank all the way back to the base of the tail. Keep taking thread wraps both forward and back to make sure everything's anchored well and to smooth out the underbody of the fly. Pick up one of the pieces of black craft foam and snip the corners off one end to form a point. Place this pointed end on top of the hook shank so it extends about a hook gap back from the hook bend. Take a wrap over top of the foam with your tying thread and slowly but firmly pull down to compress the foam. Take another couple of thread wraps to lock the foam down even further, then pull the forward portion back and take a couple of thread wraps around just the hook shank. Follow this with a few more wraps over top of the foam, then once again pull it back and position your thread at the two-thirds point of the shank. Snip a 5 inch length of black cactus chenille free and strip a few fibers from one end to expose its string core. Place the exposed core on top of the hook shank and take thread wraps to secure it. Continue binding the chenille to the shank all the way back to the foam, then return your tying thread forward to the two thirds point. Start taking touching wraps with the chenille to create a fuzzy, iridescent body on the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the chenille. Then pull the chenille back and take thread wraps in front of it to kind of clear some space behind the hook eye. Resist the urge to cut the excess chenille off as you'll be using it later. Pull the chenille back and the foam forward, bending the foam around the eye of the hook. This will create an indentation in the foam marking the location of the hook eye. Use a dubbing needle to poke a hole through the foam at this spot. Once again, pull the chenille back and the foam forward, this time pushing the eye of the hook through the hole in the foam. Fold the foam under the hook shank and start taking wraps of tying thread to anchor it there. This will create a roughly cylindrical shaped head on the fly in the process. Once the foam's bound down really well, take a single wrap with the excess chenille over top of the tie down point. Then, take a few wraps of tying thread to anchor the chenille there. 
Now you can snip the excess off close. Trim the chenille on top of the fly down a little bit, then flip the fly over and trim off the excess foam that's rearward of the tie down point. You can do some chenille trimming there as well if you like. With everything locked down and in place, bring your tying thread from the last tie down point along the underside of the body and around the hook eye. Take a few wraps there, then reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. This fly is going to get some stick on eyes, so it's a good idea to trim away any excess chenille from the head area that may prevent the eyes from adhering correctly. A little trim on any other wayward fibers at this point won't hurt either. A gel type super glue works well for securing the stick on eyes. Place a small drop on the near side of the fly's foam head. Then retrieve a single 3D eye from the sheet and place it on top of the adhesive. Hold the eye there for a few seconds to make sure the adhesive sets. The eye and the cylindrical head should be roughly the same diameter. You can then use the same procedure to secure another eye on the far side of the fly, doing your best to keep the eyes roughly aligned. And that's the black and purple booby. Just looking at the fly, you can tell it's going to be a ton of fun to fish.